I had to dribble the ball, dribble the, the clock out, standing at, at half court with nobody even around me, just dribbling the ball, and the ref called a carry. And I'm literally just dribbling the basketball, right? Because the way that we dribble it is not how they dribbled it in the 80s. And I, so just even the ebbs and, and even uh, in a career from 2009 to 2013, you know, myself, Reese, we weren't the only ones, but there was still a small amount of guards who were dribbling the ball three feet behind the line and pulling up with a, a, a contested three. That's regular stuff now. That's just what you see in basketball. That's not crazy. At that time, that was really not, I don't want to say taboo, but that was really not uh, viewed as a good way to play. And I still don't, don't think it's a good way to play, but it was different. There was only a small group of people doing that. Um, but the way that I view it is, the way that we view it is, it, those are just skills and those change um, over time and, and there's evolution of them. But the core things that make you win basketball games are the same. Yeah, they, they are, but... But, but, but James, you look at like, okay, people will talk about fundamental skills, right? We want to, we want to teach fundamental skills. Yeah. What, what are fundamental skills? And I think a lot of people think, well, they're just simple things that you do. It's keeping things simple. And mm -hmm. that's not necessarily true. Yeah.